The restrooms here are amazing. They uh, they look like they uh, well, they're better than school restrooms. Look at this. Look at this. It's better. It's a cool porta potty. It's not even a porta potty. I think this is a storage container. It is a porta potty. It's just a bombshell proof porta potty. I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> As a resident of the hot state of California, finding a museum of tanks and other military vehicles is quite difficult. We haven't had a war here, at least not a publicized one, so there isn't really an abundance of military vehicles. However, we do have one military museum in Southern California that houses a hefty amount of tanks that satisfies my craving. We're at the, we're at this uh, tank museum, what is it called? The American Military Tank Museum in Southern California, and um, I like tanks. If you didn't know that, I do li I like tanks. Anyways, look, look at tanks. This is a tank, bro. And then look, there's tanks over there. Oh my God, holy moly, bro. Tanks. Located in the city of El Monte, just a couple miles from LA, is this junkyard with over 100 military things. It's currently just $5 for admission. And if you'd like to visit and support, Please check it out if you're in the area. I ditched school to come here. I ditched, um, I ditched school. All right, let's go and go in there. Oh my God, they have so many. Is that a, oh my God. They have a lot of different tanks here. They even have guns, it's crazy. And they have like the good old, Blue UV destroyed paper. Wow. Look at these rusty textures. You'll never you'll never get to see this on a reference photo. You gotta see it in person. Look at this look at this wheel, bro. It's taller than me. Bro, you never realize how big these are until you see them in person, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's just so, it's just, oh my god, it's humongous. It is ginormous. Bro, just your audio. It's just hu audio. humongous. Well, the place isn't that big, but it's, the great thing about it not being that big is that it's very packed with a lot of stuff. Since this place is located in Southern California in a Chinese, like, area, a lot of translation so if you are Asian or Spanish or Mexican then you can enjoy this place as well oh man that one is torn to shreds what it's a big ball <laughs> what the frick what <laughs> look at that thing it looks comically large their cannons are huge like oh my god that's what she said bro it's huge it's it's just so long this place also has some very nice shade there's not that much people around. It's very unpopular actually. I'm surprised not that much people come here. So if you do plan to visit, because there's a lot of people living in Southern California, you should just come, you know? It's very cheap and there's a lot to look at. So um, this girl right here, this kid ditched um, school. Um, uh, her father was like, you can't ditch. You have to go to school. I, I, I kidnapped her. Is it the evidence for the police to um, it's gonna be like those missing person documentaries and then they see this. <laughs> so, this, so basically this is like a, a side character, but it, it, mainly the it's just me guys. It's just Nim Productions here looking at tanks. Look at this little pea shooter, bro. What? So cute. Hey look, I want to drive these around school. Yeah, sure. Pull, gonna, up, pull up on the last day. I'm gonna pick up yeah. girls in that. <laughs> you'll never get in a car crash because you'll always win. Ooh, look at this tank. What is this wheel? It's like a balloon. Look at my hand. It's so big. And it looks so funny. It's some cool cranes. This is so thick. Like, look at how. What the heck? There's like rockets on the ground. There's grass around it. It reminds me of ancient structures. 
Look at this nice little wagon pea shooter. Pew pew pew. I'm not a museum connoisseur, but I mean, they're pretty cool. Look at this rust. I don't know if they take care of these things good. There's like three seats. That's a boogie wagon right there. Hey, look, there's some stupid cars. But well, why would you have cars and you got a tank? Look at that, man. Wow, what is this? This is like a block. You wanna drive that on the road? A tank? I wanna drive a tank on the road. It's a, it's a little M3, the famous M3. It's a little, little guy, little, little, little buddy. It's not even that small. Wow, they got a helicopter. Is this what they use in Vietnam or something? I don't even know. It's just, I don't know, man. This is a cool vehicle. I want to know what this is. They have the name of every vehicle here, so. Oh, we could turn out the brightness. Still can't see. This is the Scorpion. This is the Scorpion, bro. Think about that. That's a cool name. No idea. It's a Scorpion. I think I heard about this in a video game before. Oh, and there's a Hago. There's a Hago. This is Japanese right here. There's a hundred and like 50 vehicles here. That's crazy. That's crazy. 150 items. Bro, what is this? Is this like a tank? Am I? What is this? Apparently this thing was used to train tankers, which makes more sense now. A little ambulance right here. And a police rescue. Oh my god, now we're going to see the tanks. Oh my god. Is that an M5 Stewart? It's an M5 Stewart. I made one of these. You gotta appreciate the suspension right here. I can never make that detail. Maybe I could with a laser cutter or a 3D printer. And this is in pretty good condition, actually. They have a freaking, oh, they have a Sharif. Oh my God. It's uh, the derp tank from World of, World of Tanks. It's real, dude. It's actually pretty big. I'm dying! I'm dying, bro! I need a picture. They have an M60 and it's enormous. It's so... Oh my goodness. Look at that. I don't know why I turned backwards, though. They have an M8 Greyhound. It's a little car. It's a boogie wagon. And of course, they have Shermans. They have... I don't know, maybe the Easy A. Maybe they have the regular 76. I don't freaking know. I'm not that big of a nerd. Yeah, that's tough. They're all turned backwards, but they have so many. They have a lot of American vehicles here. Well, we do, we are in America, so it's just, they're just so iconic looking. I need to build another Sherman. I need, I need to 3D print some tanks. You like recorded so much. I'll upload to YouTube. I gotta get uh, references, you know, I gotta make this tank out of a uh, card. cardboard. Or maybe I'll 3D print it. 3D print. Look at this front piece. There's just so much detail to the tank. They have a whole RV in there. It's a, it's a, that guy's living his life right there. They have like, they could probably fit a kitchen in there. Three different patterns with de three different holes. This one's more rounded. This one's a little funky. And that one's just straight. <laughs> my, friend, my friend replied my story. And he was like, I know that's a camera bag, but it's cute. I kind of want one. Oh, he doesn't care that we're at a tank museum? No. What a loser. The frick, it's so tall. Like, it's like second story. It's so big. Look at this. It's so big. Look, it's my whole body. How do you get on top of this thing? Well, they even have the interior. That's rare. You never see the interior of a tank before. This is a huge guns. It's all rusty inside. They have a, uh, the cupola. What is this? I don't even, I want to make this out of cardboard now. Holy, holy moly. Here's the, I think this is the M7 right here. I think I made this before as well. Oh, there's two of them. Damn. They sell a bunch of different products here for everyone. And do they have, the, oh my God. It's the sex ton. You want a tank for your birthday? You want to die? <laughs> as I said before, Come visit this tank museum if you're interested. It's supported by donations, visitors, and volunteers, and there's tons of food around, so just hang out in Southern California and create some more fun. Who knows, maybe we'll see each other. All the links will be in the description below.